Hello everybody, we're coming to you guys live from the Festival of the Arts. Today is the first day of the festival. So we're going to go around just a little bit here, maybe like a 5 to 10 minute broadcast. So you guys can see some of the few things that, or not few, some of the things that they've got here. Uh, so starting off here is one of my favorite things to add to the festival. Drawn in inspiration. So what they did was they had two different Imagineers, uh, Jimmy Peckerine and Morgan Lee Richardson, go through and create their uh, perspective of different Disney attractions, or Epcot attractions to be specific. So here we have the Journey to Imagination. So there's no time. Jimmy's is on the left, Morgan's is on the right. The universe of energy. Oh, that, that's cool with the, the old. Remember how they used to have those little tiles on the front of the universe of energy? Horizons. We have the building down here on Morgan's version. Yeah, hello everybody in the chat room. I just saw the people were talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, this is the land pavilion here. It's kind of interesting to look at the perspectives because there's no snow at the land pavilion except on the tables in one of the sections of Sunshine Seasons. I do like the hot air because that's a really cool touch. And over here we have Spaceship Earth along with the logo. And then the new fountain on this one. It's pretty cool. Yeah, so today is the first official day of Festival of the Arts. So far, I've only done the paint by number wall. It's going to call it the affection section, but that's the petting zoo. So, if you guys were here last year, they used to have a wall that was over between the uh, Land Pavilion along with the Journey to the Station segment. And last year, they did all these little wing things, and they were a massive hit. Like, it was insane how many people were getting pictures with these butterfly things. So, this year, we've got these three right here, with another, like, five over there. And then if you go around the corner up here, there's, like, another, like, seven. There is an insane amount of butterflies that you can become this year. One of them is actually is figment too, which is kind of cool. Alright, so coming up on our right and left hand side, we will have the chalk painting. Over 
Yeah, it's very windy out right now. It keeps on coming and going. I personally love the weather that is right now. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll make our way through the first two countries here. We'll go to Canada and the UK Pavilion. It's so windy out right now. So if you guys ever follow my Instagram post every single year, you probably know that one of my favorite things about the festival is they hide different characters in the countries by placing them on the walls and stuff. And it's always characters that would represent that country. So for instance, in the past we've had characters like Pascal over in Germany. We've had Mushu over in China. So different characters that would actually belong in those specific countries. So what we'll do here for the first two spots, we'll go to, to um, Canada and the UK. We'll see if we can find those characters over here. that wind as much as possible so hopefully it's muffling for you guys. Also while we head over here, if you guys have not already liked the video make sure you give it a like. Every like is greatly appreciated and it really does help the site too. Festival of the Arts. How many people out there have been to Festival of the Arts? This is my personal favorite. Epcot Festival. I like it better than any of the other one. I, this is first, and then the other ones are all kind of a little ways behind it. And I'm kind of curious because I think this year things are going to be a little bit different here. Obviously because of COVID, but that's okay. A little bit of Festival of the Arts is better than new Festival of the Arts. Alright, so we'll go down to where the characters were last year in hopes that they're possibly there again this year. So last year in Canada, there was only one character that was hidden, that was Coda from Brother Bear. And there was a sign saying that the characters are hidden this year. So hopefully... This way, they might have gotten rid of him completely.
not see any characters at all here. No. This is a fine food and wine for you? Oh. I think food and wine might be my least favorite, actually. Not that I don't like food and wine, but I'll, first off, I'm a very picky eater. So the concept of food and wine for me is kind of like, eh, oh well. And then second off, all the other festivals have special food and wine. So it's almost like every festival is a food and wine festival. Sadly, no characters anywhere. So I hope you guys enjoyed our tour of Canada there. <laughs> As we search for nothing. Well, let's make our way over to the UK Pavilion. And that doesn't mean that there is no characters there. Last year, I didn't find one of the characters in France until the very, like, last week. Yay, happy birthday! Look at how pretty it is here. You know what? Let's go inside the uh, World Showplace here. See what they've got going on here today. like year and a half it is home to the festival center so let's see what they've got inside here Disney painter. A lot of people in here. So we've got some music playing in here. Secret man cub. Tell me what to do. Booby doo. I wanna be like you. Ooh, ooh. Tell me
Okay, we got like a little art corner. Mainly, mainly shopping in here and a little bit of food. Let's make our way back over to the UK Pavilion. We'll go see if we can find some funny characters there. And we'll wrap up our broadcast over that way. The only thing I don't like about this festival is I spend a lot of money at this festival. I usually buy a painting or two or three. Pavilion. This is the arts. They, they had things like the Broadway thing been in the past, but they're not having the Broadway singers this year. So what they've done in the past, they've actually brought in like two Broadway, or actually like four Broadway singers. But they have them kind of go through and rotate. So there'll be two Broadway singers every single day performing Disney on Broadway songs. Which has always been very cool. So disappointed. <laughs> there is a 